Hi and welcome back to the Trucking Squad. Today I'm doing a little different video. I love fountain pens. I'm actually needing to put to fill this pen with ink. It is a Pilot Falcon Extra Fine Fountain Pen. So I'm going to show you how to fill a fountain pen. I'm going to show you my pen and a little bit of how um, I write and keep up with what I've got in each pen. So I hope you enjoy the video, and if you're new here, it'd be great to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and leave me a comment on whether you would like to see more videos on fountain pens, because I have a lot of them. Thank you, and have a great day. So today I'm doing something a little different. I have another passion or obsession, I'm not sure how you want to call it, and that is fountain pens. I've have all kinds and I'd be happy to share them with you if you're interested just leave me a comment below and I will start doing some videos on those maybe have a pen day a week or something because I really do love my pens this is a pilot falcon super fun I'm one that likes to write with super fine pens although I do have other ones this has the um you call that nib the flex nib so it will flex I don't know if you can see it but it will get wider and it will get shorter this paper is not a good example but what I need to do today with this is I need to put some ink in it so I thought I'd take you along real quick this is going to be a short video so one of my favorite Inks is this one. It is. Uh, who is this from? Diamine. And it was the Ink Net Blue Edition. Get this beautiful bottle. So this is Shimmer and Sheen Jack Frost. Yep. I knew I had a Jack Frost somewhere. But it, I got the big bottle, which will last me probably the rest of my life with all the other bottles I have and you can see the sheen right here what I'm doing is just gently rocking it to shake it up a little bit I don't want air bubbles and stuff but I do want my my sheen to be moving around in there so I don't want to mess up my I don't want to mess up my table and it, it or my mat and these can be very messy I mean I've already from cleaning the panel earlier I've got blue ink on my hands and if you're in the fountain pens you probably know that ink is goes right along with it. inky hands just like scrapbooking but see now you can tell that it's, it's moved around and I've been gently just turning it and I love this bottle. I mean, that is just the coolest bottle. Let's see, since y'all are up there, is that, can you see it? How it looks on, on the surface with my hand. Not only that, this box is just beautiful. So, now that I've shaken this gently up, I gotta get the lid off. You can look around at the rim and see that the ink. So what I've got is this twist knob. This is, I um, can't remember what it's called. Might be just twist fill, piston filling filler, I think is what it's called. It's been a while and I apologize. I just wanted to fill this up. So what happens when you put the nib part down in the ink, when you turn this to go back towards the right it suctions that ink into the pen but same thing if you were to have this full of ink right here all the way up to here when you twist that down it's and you can see I'm I don't know if you can see or not but I had a little ink in there and it did bring it out because I got can you see that 
It's probably not going to do it where you can see it now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick, see, look at that. I'm going to stick my pen all the way up to about right here in the ink. So you will cover your barrel. I'm going to hold it with my two, these two fingers is the way I do it. But if you can see in there, got it down in the ink. I'm holding right here. And then I'm just going to twist. Let me see. I ain't got it in far enough. I'm going to get a little bit further. So if you're not pulling up ink, you need to dip it in just a little bit further and twist it. So now I have ink in here. But, oh, I don't know what I'm thinking. So once you fill it up and you have this here, you put your ink back down in there and you hold your thing and you twist it down again and you pull it back up and you keep doing that and it comes up a little bit further each time so I'm just going to continue and you don't have to you could use it just like it was so I'm going to leave mine right about here and I did have ink come all the way up there to the top of that barrel. So I'm just gently, especially on this part, the cartridge thing, I'm trying not to pull too hard on it. So I do clean my ink. I clean around this little ridge right here. And it does depend on which, which pen I'm using as to how well I clean it. But you don't have to clean hard, and I'm just using a paper towel and wiping that ledge off because sometimes I get ink there. Once you pull your pen out of the ink and you're done with it, you want to put the lid on because it's very easy to spill this whole bottle of ink everywhere. So see, I did get it right there. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it back in its thing for just a second. While I try and do something with my hands, I'll be right back. Okay, so I went and washed my hands just because I have other things I'm going to do today. And I didn't want to have ink possibly rubbing off. And you can tell I still got ink stains, but a lot of it came off. That is just something that goes with the ink filling fountain pens. But I'm not done quite yet. I'm going to move this. It's got some wet ink on it. So I have several different notepads. So this one is the one that I happen to find. And you can see here where I have, this is my log goes back to 2014 when, when I first got some different pens. I write the name of the ink, the name of the pen, with the nib size, and then the pilot is the maker of the pens. So I've tried all these different inks. Over here, I, I would just write and play with them. Some of them I like, some of them I don't. I had an ink drop subscription for a while through um, Goulet Pens that, that I really enjoyed that so you get a little bitty bottle I don't remember how many ounces but it's enough to fill a pen and use for a while just to see if you like it and you can see all these different so here's 2015 then I jumped to 2022 but I think there's some on the other day Yep, so I got some over here, 2015. I just write wherever, I guess. 2014s. So what I'm going to do, what side do I want to write on? Okay. I even had a, a list of pens that I gave to my sisters and my daughters back in 
2014, 2015 when I found all these and they were so much fun. See, so here's some 2020. So this is like a record of all my inks and especially all my pens. And even though I'm, I go from side to side, it's still got uh, the record is confusing. Now this is the ink that I just loaded in here. This is with a broad pen. So I, I like it, but I liked it better in this Pilot Falcon fine tip. Uh, let's see. I like that one too. You can see that was a fine tip. Viscani merry-go-round. So that is a different kind of a manufacturer. Okay. I'm going to start over here and I'm just going to write. I can remember what I got now. Open it up. Now my, my brain does not want to work right half the time. So I got timing. So look at today's date, which is the 24th. 3, 24, 24. Pilot. Extra fun. I'm going to write black barrel because I have a few of a few different ones. So See, now this is where I get confused on spelling diamond. So I'm going to put D-I-A. M I N E. I mean Jack Frost. So then I usually do some squiggles like this. You can see the color variation. The top up there is lighter. This part is darker on the bottom. You can see the very. I love it when it varies the. The colors in the ink so I could push down real hard and have variation not real hard but where it opens the tines up and does make it bigger um, so I could write on here demonstration for YouTube. So I write with the fountain pens mostly in cursive, but I can write sometimes. Now, if I take my time, you can actually read it, but I like with the fountain pens to write in cursive because one thing that I feel like person's handwriting is tells a lot about them it tells their story so it, it makes it interesting but I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you come back and see some more let me know if you would like to see some more fountain pen videos I would be happy to demonstrate them and do a inking because actually I do need to ink some of my pens, clean them and ink them. So if you're new here, it'd be great if you hit the subscribe button and hit the like button and let me know if you're a fountain pen um I done lost my thought. If you're obsessed with fountain pens like I am. Thank you and have a great day.